Prison system is in crisis, and lawmakers are proposing, proposing shortening sentences for drug users, giving early release to elderly inmates, and allowing judges to deviate from mandatory minimum sentences. But the proposed sentencing changes are not sitting well with the state's sheriffs. News Channel 8's Capitol Bureau reporter Mike Vassalinda tells us why they are pushing back. Florida sheriffs say the data doesn't lie. Keeping people in prison for at least 85% of their sentence has kept Florida's crime rate low. 93,823 inmates woke up in a Florida prison cell Tuesday morning. Staffing is short, contraband is up, attacks on both officers and other inmates are also up. We, we think that there are massive problems inside the correct Department of Corrections. State Senator Jeff Brandis is proposing inmates who learn a trade get their sentence reduced from 85 to 65 percent. How do we motivate them to be prepared to leave the prison system with a skill, with a job, with an education. You about have to beg your way into state prison. But Florida sheriffs are pushing back with a report called Truth in Sentencing. The policies and laws that keep felons off the street and out of our neighborhoods work. Crime is at a near 50, tier, 50 year low for a reason. Walton County Sheriff Michael Atkinson, who directed the study, says the numbers don't lie. And I'm afraid this idea that, hey, let's just do away blanket with, uh, uh, with these sentences can have a really uh, unintended consequences. Florida sheriffs say that 95% of the prison population is made up of repeat offenders, but advocates argue that prisons have become nothing more than a warehouse. Sponsor Brandis says the sheriff's claim supports his case for reform. If we know that 95% are coming right back out, Shouldn't we look to fix the existing system so it isn't 95 percent? That's what our legislation does. And it's not just the sheriffs pushing back, but prosecutors as well who say the current system is working. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vassalinda, 8 on your side. Worth noting here, Florida's 20 state's attorneys also oppose any changes to the sentencing laws that would shorten prison terms.